In the last video, we began to consider the thermodynamics of electrolyte solutions and got acquainted with the concept of activity. The activity of an individual ion is represented as a product of the ion concentration by the activity coefficient. Since concentration can be expressed in the molar scale, molar scale, and in molar fractions, There are three scales of activity and activity coefficients. The activity coefficient characterize the work of ion transfer from an ideal solution to a real one. Consider a solution of electrolytes where the concentration is expressed through molality. In this case, Then the salt activity and average activity Similar ratios are obtained for other concentration scales. In all concentration scales, the average activity coefficients at infinite dilution tend to unity, since in this case the ion-ion interaction tends to zero and the solution acquires ideal properties. Suppose that we have a hypothetical solution in which the activity of all ions is unity and at the same time there is no ion-ion interaction, wherein but Absolute activities are sometimes used that are related to the chemical potential of the salt by ratio. The introduction of absolute activity has the advantage that it is equal to zero in the absence of this component. At the same time, absolute activity does not depend on the choice of the standard state and it's the same in all concentration scales. Let's establish the relationship between the average activity rates in molar scale and molar scales. Let's write. From the definition of molarity and molality, it follows that
in an infinitely diluted standard solution, based on this, it follows that Since the density of water is approximately equal to unity, then for aqua solutions However, this ratio does not apply to non aqua solutions. In a similar way, you can set the ratio between other activity coefficients.